It's a heavyweight championship fight between the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, and John Jones. All right, so here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Bones. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84-inch reach, certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is 33, Lewis is 35. He weighed in at 260 pounds. Jones will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out front.
All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lewis. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Close guard. Jones is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Let's go. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. out of water now the ground and pound is on point this could very well be the beginning of the end this could be the beginning of the end we've seen some really good ground and pound fighters this young man is as good as any we've ever seen man this is some serious ground and pound he's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas he's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire ufc and you're seeing why here from top position by Jones. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under two minutes in the first round. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, get up. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the You got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. I need elbows, I need elbows. Good work from the top here by Jones. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Fifteen seconds. Oh, we're getting a finish here. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seems as though they were looking for that answer. Both okay, guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Times. Hey, listen, fake him, fake him. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades okay, of the right, Diaz right, brothers right. in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right oh! hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Win the scramble, win the scramble. You can't break your will. Jones is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what do you... Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try. And no, he falls back into the finishing position. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.